Okay, I'm going to show you uh, pretty quickly how I actually use uh, Ableton Live with my Roland SPDS. So let's get started. First, to map with your Roland SPDS, you're going to select MIDI on Ableton Live. Then whenever you hit MIDI, anything that is blue is now able to be mapped to your Roland SPDS. So in other words, uh, I already have some buttons on here, so I'm going to show you what those are and how I use them. But we have a stop button, and that is up here. And that basically stops any track from playing at all. And I'll open this so you can see. This is the kind of mapping area. It tells you where uh, each note and, and what it does is mapped to. Um, and you saw that all I did was click on that whatever I want to be mapped and then hit whatever pad that I want it to go to and that's how you map it. We also have a play button so I click on the play button I hit that and it's mapped. Uh, we also have a launch button and this right here is kind of the master launch. Um, each of these are also launch buttons um, but I want to just have like whatever my uh, cursor is on I want it to launch. Whatever is highlighted I want it to launch. So I hit that and then I select launch and then uh, scene up and scene down I have those so that I can you know go to the different songs that we have and last but not least the click this is actually solo the click and this is my click right here so I'm gonna hit the solo button and map it to the click and the reason I have a solo the click button is because if we're starting a song and it has a track to it and somewhere in the song we either get off or we play it a little bit differently I can hit solo the click and it stops any tracks from going to the front of house and uh, but it also gives us the click it, it you know it keeps the click in all the bands ear so that we don't get off but we know uh, that the front house is not going to have let's say like a you know a vocal track a choir track that would be one beat ahead or behind of us because that would be really really awkward and it may be a little awkward to stop any tracks that you're sending to the front of house but it's a lot less awkward than playing a song with a whole choir one beat behind you so that's why we have the solo the click um, let me give you some uh, some examples of what we can do with this so let's say I'm getting ready to play this set uh, the first song, Nothing But The Blood, I launch it. Okay, here's a lesson for you. If you ever want the click track to work, you have to go up here and hit metronome. Make sure it's highlighted yellow. So if you don't do that, you won't get any click. But now that we have click, we can go back up to Nothing But The Blood, launch it. Um, and that one doesn't have any tracks, so we just come in whenever we're supposed to. So that song is done. I stop the click. And it, it's already on redeemed. Whatever's highlighted is the one that it's going to launch. So I hit one, two, one, two, three, four. And then has a bar of that. And here in a second, there's going to be some pads come in. There they are. Okay. So when I solo the click, it takes all those pads out. And we can still play along because we're all in time together. Then I can unsolo it and the pads come back in. Um, okay, we're done with that song. One, we go into two, this one. One, two, three, four. It's got some pads. And so you kind of get the idea. Um, it's really awesome to use this when you're playing live. Um, the only thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to play the song if you are using tracks. You have to play the song exactly the same every single time. Um, I mean, well, with this song, we do have two different versions. We have a short version and we have a longer version. So you have to know what version you're playing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a quick tutorial on how to map the MIDI for your Roland SPDS to control Ableton. Uh, one quick last thing. This is the way we do it. We just have... Uh, this is the cable that I use, uh, eighth inch to split to two quarter inch um, left and right. Right now, the click 
and the count in are all on the left channel and all of the tracks are on the right channel and you only send so you have you have two different direct boxes one that goes to the front of house one that goes just to your ears if you're using in-ears and probably already know that but some people may find that helpful yeah enjoy <laughs>